Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a makeup tutorial. Ooh, after like a million years, I literally never do makeup videos, but we're doing it today. Yes, it's true. I have a keep calm carry on poster in my room because like you know back in 2012 when like everybody wanted to be British which like I wanted to be British because One Direction was British I actually used to pretend to be British <laughs> whatever okay um, so today I'm basically gonna do um, a first review impressions of the Urban Decay Born to Run palette this is what it looks like it's really pretty I'm very excited yeah so let's get started First thing is first, I start with my eyebrows. I like brush off like the excess old crusty dip brow onto my hands. Don't know why. Love it. But anyways, okay. So then I brush all of my eyebrow hairs up. And then I take the... Whoa! I just throw the dip brow. <laughs> I take the dip brow and I use like the angled edge. My color is taupe, I know. I don't know why I looked. Let's get like literally the tiniest bit on my hand. And I think um, it definitely helps to put it on your hand because it makes it smoother to work with and it doesn't like come out all at once on your on your eyebrow. Um, if, like if you dip it right in and then put it right on your brow, everything it like comes off all at once. But anyways, so then I just line underneath my brow and then I angle it out, you know, at the end. I'm sure y'all know. I might do my other brow off camera because I'm trying to save time because... I know no one wants to watch my videos if they're long. No one wants to watch them in general, but whatever. I probably won't do the brow off camera because, like, oh, it's just so quick and easy. Yeah, so I just line the bottom like that. And then I brush all of the hairs back, like, into place. You can tell, like, this one's about to be rough. This one might be good. We're going to see. Okay, so then actually what I'm going to do next is line the bottom of my brows with concealer. So I said how I got this concealer. Well, I made like a haul video. Don't know if I'm going to post it. It's not very good. I literally made it in like 20 minutes, barely edited anything out, and I'm just like, here's everything I got. Like, no one wanted to see it. I mean, I don't know if anyone wanted to see it. I haven't posted it yet. We're going to see. It's just, okay, whatever. I'm going to shut up. What point of this, point of this rant is that I got this Maybelline um, concealer because I only wear concealer on my eyes before I put my um, eyeshadow on and I use it to like line my brows so I was like okay I don't want to pay like $30 for shape tape because like I never use concealer so like I don't need a fancy one so I got this at Ulta it was like $7 picked the wrong shade I don't know why I literally can't pick concealer like I have gotten so many concealers and every time I get it and I think that I'm getting the best one because I always go I try to go for like the lightest one because I'm like I'm pale and then I get it and then it looks like my foundation so I don't know what I'm doing wrong okay, so I put it on my hand like that right by the dip brow and then I take my little concealer brush from elf it looks really crusty right now ignore it um, and then I just line the bottom of my eye uh, my eyebrows to just like really clean it up and make it look sharp. Yeah, I don't know if you can even tell, but I, I followed it right under basically where um, I drew the line. Um, and so that's all I'm going to do on my brows for now, and then I will fill in the rest later. Um, so now I'm just going to put the concealer on my eyes to start my eyeshadow. But can y'all see this? Like, this is literally the color of my foundation. I don't know how I'm so dumb, but, like, I literally do this every single time I get concealer. Which is, I guess it's a good thing that I'm not using it, like, um, as actual concealer. But, like, also, still want it to be bright. Okay, so I just blend that in with my beauty blender. Also, I really want to know, like, what you guys use to use blend in your foundation. Because I use my Beauty Blender, and I'm, I don't know why, like, if you press it down, it, like, is stuck. Like, what's she doing? Um, and I've cleaned it, like, a million t Oh, okay. I've cleaned it, like, a million times, and it still does this. So, I don't know. Hello. I don't know if it's better to use a brush, or if it's better to use that, but, I don't know, whatever. Okay. Now we're doing it. Okay, so now that this is on, I'm going to start with the eyeshadow, um, which is the star of the show today. Um, so I'm going to go in first with some sparkle in the center. I never wear sparkle, but 
we're gonna be adventurous today. We're gonna start with this one. This is like a pretty gold. It's light. It's like it's called Stranded. Okay. So I'm taking this brush, which is an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. It literally just comes with subculture. I'm not fancy. And I use this like flat end to apply sparkles. If you watched my girlfriend does my makeup video, I like yelled at Alicia. I was like, no, that side is for sparkles only. Because I was like trying to get the good views, but also I was like, I'm not trying to ruin my makeup in the process. But okay, so I'm just going to start with that in the center. I guess you could call this a halo, an attempt at a halo. We're going to start with the sparkles, which I think is like a no-no when you do, are doing a halo. But I just want to. And then, um, I actually, it looks good. I don't know, you're probably not going to be able to see it on camera because I can honestly barely see it. But let me keep going. So I'm going to go then um, to Weekender right next to that. I don't know if you can see. I have literally no clue what's going on right now. But it's fine. Um, okay. And then I'm just using a Morphe brush to blend that in around, like, my crease and stuff. Um, it's actually, I mean, it's pretty good, I would say. I like to put a light color on first so that I can blend the other colors into it. So I usually go for, like, a light, like, beige type of color. Um, and you can see it already has, like, some depth on my eyes. So then I'm going to go next to this riff right there. And I'm going to continue just, like, putting it on the outer corners of my eye and just, like, blending it around in, like, a circle. I actually really like this palette so far. I'm surprised at how pig- not surprised at how pigmented it is, but, like, I'm- happy with it yeah I really like the pigmentation in in this which like I did I waited for so long I had a gift card and I waited um, to use all of it until Sephora came out with this because I, I waited until it came out into the store so that I could like swatch it and make sure that it was like what I wanted and it's I loved it so and I like it now I like using it it's nice um, so then I'm gonna go with the Baja right there and we're just gonna keep it again like it's just like moving closer so I start out with like more neutral shades and then as I get closer into my eye I like add more color when I do a halo I never do halos because I never do sparkles I don't know why I guess you could maybe do like a halo can you do a halo if you don't do sparkles I don't know I'm no makeup artist but yeah, so I just blend that out into the colors that I already applied and I think it just makes it like an easier blend so, oh my gosh, like, I'm feeling like I'm looking rough, but we're just going to keep going. I still like it, though. I actually really like this. I think it looks pretty. I'm, like, kind of feeling myself. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm going to add a little bit more because it's not super orange, and I feel like my outfit today is super orange. Okay, and the reason that I added the color first, uh, or not said the wrong word the reason I added the sparkle first is so that you got like it very pigmented because you know it's more the pigmentation is better when you put it on top of concealer and not on top of, like another color so I tried to do that and then I'm gonna apply more um, once I actually like finish adding these colors my blending skills today not the best but it's fine I'm like I'm gonna go right there with this punk right underneath Baja I'm just going to take a little bit, I already see it on my brush, and I'm just going to put it like at the bottom of that orange, like, okay, I actually really like the pigmentation on this, I'm like really happy with this, okay, and then, I forgot where I put the brush, then I'm going to go back in with the stranded, get a little bit more, actually just got a lot more, and just put it again on top of that. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, so that's going to be my eyeshadow. That's like, end of the video. Just kidding. I'm going to do my whole face. But yeah, I really like this, guys. I don't know if it, like, it's going to look good on camera if you guys are just like, delete your channel forever. But it's fine. Okay, next I'm going to do eyeliner. That's another thing I got in my haul. I just line, I need to do like a liner tutorial. I line, um, like line my lashes with a line first and then I start to like form the wing. 
quiet. That looks good today, girls. So then I just, again, I like line right at my lashes with it. Sometimes I get a little carried away. <laughs> Whatever. Again, so I like, I connect um, the line I just made and then I form another line outside of that. Okay, this side is definitely worse than that side, <laughs> but we are fine. We're going to keep on going. My dogs are barking. If you hear them, ignore them. I'm actually going to add like a little bit more of this punk shade, the darker brown, um, now that my eyeliner is on. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to start with my, um, my skin. So I'm going with this. Why are the dogs barking? Oh, okay. So I'm going to start with my pro... I had words for them. Okay. Um, so I'm, this is the Urban Decay Hot Springs, like, makeup prep thing. This is underrated. I've never seen, actually, I don't think any makeup artist talk about this. I don't know how I even found this primer. Like, usually I, I like, love following makeup Twitter. And usually I like to, like, get products that people I, like, like, um recommend and that's how I find a lot of the stuff that I use uh, except for actually I say that but I haven't now I'm not using anything really they have recommended they don't I don't know many people that use the Too Faced everyone always is obsessed with Kat Von D um, and I don't use Kat Von D I use the Too Faced eyeliners and then Born to Run I hadn't heard like hardly any hype about it and then that like makeup prep and my like um, concealer my mascara I'm just like a trendsetter not really, because no one else is using them, but, like, whatever. So then I've prepped my face. Okay. And then I'm going to put on my Fenty. So I just put that on directly on my face. And I know... I'm going to get a little more there. I know, like, when I first got this, everyone said how it was drying. And now I understand. Like, I never had a problem with it when I first got it. But then I got a second one once I ran out. And this one, like, if I put... If I put, like, part, like, my whole face, if I put a little bit on my entire face, it's, it gets harder to blend, you know? So I gotta do it, like, one little bit at a time. Also, ignore that little dot there. So I don't know what it is, because I never had that really, like, that problem before, and now I understand, like, what people say when they say it's, like, drying. Do you guys use beauty blenders, or do you guys use makeup brushes to blend your foundation? Because I really don't know. I, like... I mean, I don't necessarily have the money to get another one of either, but um, I was thinking about maybe getting a new beauty blender since this one is like being weird at the tip. It's like getting squished down. I don't know what's happening. Um, so I was thinking about getting another one, but then I was like, oh, maybe I should get like a, a brush because I've heard those are good, like makeup brushes are good to blend in your foundation, but I don't know. I don't know what to even get. I'm just very confused and panicked about my life. That was my song. I also, today guys, I literally woke up at like, I went to bed at like, I think 2. That's not even that late, I feel like for most people, but that's late for me. And, um, I went to bed at like 2, and I literally woke up at 7 this morning. Who am I? I was, and it wasn't, it wasn't like a good, like, sleep that I woke up and I was like, ready for my life. Like, I woke up and was like, oh my god, kill me, please. I want to die. Um, why am I awake? And I couldn't fall back asleep for like, I literally never fell back asleep. I laid in bed for over an hour and I just like, freaking, I don't know. It wasn't good. And now, I was like really grumpy when I woke up this morning, but here I am thriving. And I even, I even made myself breakfast. I made like eggs attempted to it was really bad I never make eggs but I did it and I made like avocado toast and everything and put it all together it was really good okay so now anyways whatever you guys are all like shut up just talk about your makeup let me blend down on my chin a little bit more I think this looks really pretty right now okay so next I'm gonna do my cover girl clean matte I got this for the drugstore um, it's like the setting powder um, for the drugstore makeup tutorial that I did and I ended up really liking it and my other powder that I was using I was using this makeup forever 
Ultra HD like setting powder I think is what it's called um, I was using that for a really long time I seriously have had that for like two years it never ran out and then finally not like finally in a good way but like it ran out after like a long time I was kind of like okay hello what's gonna happen um, it finally just kind of like broke apart after it got like really low it all like broke um, but I loved that stuff oh, I loved that stuff um, I say I love that stuff but I literally like only use that because I, I mean I had it for so long I never had to get another one to try so I mean I really liked it but then I was like oh well I just have this one from my you know my that one makeup tutorial why is on my nose from that one makeup tutorial so I should just use that instead of like paying 30 bucks or something and I like it so sue me so next I'm gonna do this is like a very weird order but next I'm gonna do my lashes so that they have time to dry before um, I put my setting spray on um, and I think I'm gonna okay I can't decide I was gonna do Fenty on my lips those like it's like this trio I think it's summer nights and it's a lip gloss trio and it oh, they're really pretty but they dry once they dry though they like I've only worn the one like out for a long time and I wore it and literally as soon once it dried it got like really sticky and I could kind of like feel it but I was like oh I'm sure it's fine I'm sure it's fine which is my fault I guess because then I literally I went around to a bunch of different places the whole time I was wearing it I was at work and then when I got off work I went to like Sephora and then I went to Ulta and stuff so I was like literally walking around makeup people and they were probably like ew do you know what skincare is because like my lips literally looked like they were peeling off I was like, thanks Fenty for nothing. Just kidding. I mean, it looked really pretty when I first put it on, so I was like really feeling myself. And then afterwards, I was like, kill me now. I literally walked into makeup stores acting like I knew about makeup when I looked like a little idiot. A little crusty baby who doesn't know like what skincare is. Okay. So this mascara that I'm using, I'm not sure how I feel right now about it. It's like giving me some weird vibes right now. I mean like spider lashes low-key. Oh, hello. Um, this does not look good. I mean, I'm just adding more, so it's really just getting worse. But, like, I wanted to try something besides Better Than Sex. So I did this, like, Smashbox. Because I love Smashbox lip gloss. So I was, like, I don't know why I was, like, you know, lip gloss. Same brand. Might as well try it. Um, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Like, I don't know if that looks good. But whatever, it's on there. So I give that time to dry. Um, and now, once my foundation is, is on, I do... Um, oh my god, y'all, it's got like little tiny eyebrow hairs or something in it. This is so weird. But whatever. My Rimmel Brow Pencil, it's called Brow This Way. I use this in my drugstore... Ah! I use this in my drugstore makeup tutorial. So now, once those are brushed down, that's when I like go in with this pencil. And I like try to make it look good. I like... Okay, so originally I was doing my brows and it was like, it was like dip brow on the bottom, dip brow on the top, and like super carved out, you know, like really full. And then I was like, I don't know, I feel like natural like brows are kind of the move nowadays. Like everyone like wants, you know, like pretty like filled in natural brows. So I was like, okay, how do I get natural brows? So I like do the dip brow on the bottom so that I get the like sharp clean line that because I don't have that on the bottom. And then I use, like, pencil to fill in the top, because then I'm like, oh, maybe that's, like, light. It's definitely, like, lighter. It's, like, less harsh than the dip brow, as much as I love dip brow. It can be kind of a lot. So then, okay, this is what it looks like. Not right now. I'm just looking for my brush. So then, once I, like, do all that, I really need to pluck my eyeballs. Eyeballs? I literally just said eyeballs. Literally need to pro... <gasps> I need to pluck my eyebrows, y'all took me 20 minutes to say that sentence so yeah this is like this brow thing of like the pencil and whatever is my attempt at a natural brow but I really truly can't tell like if it looks good or if it just looks like I tried to do my brows but don't know how does that make sense Also, another thing I've been seeing lately is, like, apparently a lot of people on makeup Twitter think, like, eyeliner ruins, like, an eye look. And I'm like, please, that's all I know how to do. That's the only makeup I can impress people with. 
So, I don't know, I might just keep it because it's like my, not like my signature, but like, I don't know, a lot of people have actually told me that like the first thing they noticed about me was that I had like really big eye, like really big eyeliner. I wear it like everywhere. I don't even know, I just like to like have people know that that's like kind of my thing because I like doing my eyeliner. That's like my only personality trait, likes doing eyeliner. They're kind of done, I guess, but like, so I don't know if th these look good, like, do these look like natural, clean, beautiful brows, or do they just look like, sis, do you need help? Some of that just got cut off, um, so I'm not sure how much you, s uh, what, like, what happened, but, um, I'm doing my contour right now with the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup palette, um, I'm using Chocolate Soleil, and I was saying how I'm a crusty little person because I use the same brushes, for everything on my face basically. But I was just saying that I, I didn't like the Hoola bronzer all the time because it's too warm but I don't I didn't mean like too warm like all the time because I still use it all the time but too warm as if like if it's just that I think it's like too warm so I try to do like a little bit like of mixture although right now it's like looking really cakey but whatever whatever is like my phrase today apparently I'm like, <laughs> slept five hours, whatever. <laughs> and I'm like annoyed because like, I don't know, like do you ever really look forward to sleeping in and then like you're disappointed? Because that is how I feel today. Like I I rarely sleep in anymore. I like, because I'm always so busy. And I finally was like, today I'm going to sleep in. Thank you, Lord. And then I woke up at freaking 7 a.m. Yeah, so I was disappointed to say the least. Um, so then I'm gonna, whatever, I'm going back to the makeup. Um, so I'm using the little Fenty Beauty that I have. It's, I already hit pan. Although I got this back in February, so this has been pretty good. It's a sample size. Getting those deals. And again, this is just some, I don't know why I said again, because I have not said this this video, but I've used this before. It's a Morphe brush. I love it. I said love really weird. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys can hear, everyone on my street is doing yard work. So, if you hear a lot of lawn mowing... That's what's going on. I feel like such a little glowing goddess today. Like, look at my eyes and my, like, highlight. Like, okay, I see you. Okay, and then, again, with the sample size, hey yo, um, this Tarte, it's called Party. Definitely used this before. Again, same brush. And I just do, like, really lightly. Okay, I actually, like, guys, I'm, like, not to toot my own horn, but, like, I feel really pretty today. So, please. I never thought I would feel so powerful on, like, five hours of sleep, but I really, truly do. I feel like a lot of people only get five hours of sleep, like, normally, but, like, I seriously, I don't know what it is, but I, like, I hate losing sleep. Like, I get so upset. Like, I genuinely, like, the other night, Alicia was spending the night here, and she, it was, like, midnight, and she was like, oh, I forgot my contact solution at home. I have to go get it. And I literally was just crying, because I was like, I want to go to bed. And she was like, what? I just love to sleep. I'm trying to fix that. But apparently I do. I apparently have two personality traits. I love doing eyeliner and I love to sleep. And I'm allergic to nuts. That's like my fun fact. Like wherever I go, you know, you're like, everyone's like, oh, like what's your fun fact? And I'm like, um, and I panic and I'm like, I'm allergic to peanuts. And everyone's like, you're also lame. Like we hate you. It's like, it's a little tiny baby thing. It's from Bite is what the brand is called. I don't know what this, the shade is called Chai. And I got it uh, in my birthday thing at Sephora. I will say right off the bat, it smells so good. That is like my favorite thing. I have this one lipstick that smells like awful. like, And I never wear it because it smells just like fake and plasticky. And this smells like mint chocolate chip. I think it's good. Oh, I'm literally so bad at applying lipstick. It's hilarious. That's why I stick to gloss because I'm like, because I can't figure it out. I can't figure out lipstick. But okay, let me, I took this off too early, but it's fine. Like, I feel like sometimes I want to rock a middle part, but then I'm like, this is what I look like. So no. Um, sorry, my hair was like, was wet when I put this in. So it looks like really gross right now. I'm going to straighten it, but okay. I use um, the Urban Decay All Nighter spray to set my foundation and everything. I actually am like really feeling myself today, guys. Like this is a cute look. Um, I wish I like knew what to do with like hair. Well, I'm dying. Um, 
Okay, yeah, also, sorry, I'm, like, looking in the mirror and not at you guys, because, like, I'm trying to figure out how to, like, do my hair and look, like, presentable, but, like, honestly, right now, it's kind of bad, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. Okay, so this is the final look. I love, love, love the palette. This is, like, my, um, drugstore makeup tutorial look a little bit for the real fans out there. Just kidding. Um, but, yeah, okay, this is the look. I love it. I love it. I love it. I recommend it. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Definitely, everything just fell. Definitely check out the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Sponsor me, please. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it.